based on, you know, doing this for 30 years. And really, you know, when you do 15 of it in the NFL, that's all you do is evaluate players. So I feel pretty confident in the way I can evaluate players. And I do, you know, I think my four daughters could look up and go, no, he's the best player, you know, uh, or they just were lazy and didn't do their job and just took the three guys that thought in the beginning of the year, we're going to be the guys who just stamped them forward. Either way, it's not good. It's too bad because it's a, it's a special award. Obviously John Mackey being a great player. It's something that's really important to the players. It's something that's important to Mike. And he put a lot of time and effort into it. You expect the same, you know, from the committee. So that was my problem with it. I don't think I'm in the minority in that vein. Um, it seems like the national media and the people that actually watch the games are, are pretty much in agreement with that. Very unique individual. He's wired differently. You know, I'm fortunate enough to be around a few of these guys, Larry Fitzgerald, Antonio Gates. There's some internal extra something. It's not just because they're just better than everybody else. And in a lot of cases they are, but there's more to it. There's a lot of guys with a lot of talent that don't quite get the accomplishments that some of these guys do. And certainly his are, are well ahead of them, but yeah, he doesn't, um, he's pretty highly motivated himself. He finds things to push him and he's playing at obviously a very high level right now. And, uh, but it certainly didn't go over well, put it lightly. There's times when you have to like dial him back a little bit. I, um, he's really been a great leader in our group really since he was a freshman. I mean, he had Tommy and Brock and he's very kind of deferential to them. And, and then he just based on his, his talent, he still was deferring a little bit to George as being the older guy, but I think he, you know, sees an opening to obviously when you're the best player, people look to you for leadership and your attitude and your performance are really going to dictate how people follow. So I think he was more performance based and obviously he always had a great attitude, but he was going to kind of keep to himself and, but he's not afraid to, to get on guys. And I kind of see it happening more and more now. And that doesn't have to necessarily be like go at them, but to kind of more encourage push, um, I've definitely seen, you know, more of that in this, this bowl prep than, than, you know, it was kind of more group oriented. Now it's a little bit more offense oriented than it was before.